Let's talk automation plugins and why you absolutely need to have one in your toolbox. So recently I covered MailerPress, which is a new plugin from the SEO Press team. It's an email marketing platform that runs on WordPress. This side of things isn't that important. It's just an example I want to highlight. When I released that video and a follow up video, there are a lot of comments in the comment section of those videos saying, I'm waiting for this to be integrated with Bricks or to support Form X or Y or plugin X and Y. You get the idea I'm talking about. Well, this is kind of why I think having an automation tool is so incredible important. We have to wait now for MailerPress or any other tool like this to support those extra services. However, with tools like Flowmatic, Bitflows, N810 and so on, we can tap into making our own integrations. So as long as we can connect up to the various different tools, for example, Bricks, Elementor and so on, and the new tool we're trying to work with, in this example, MailerPress, we can connect things up. We don't have to wait for either of those sides of things to have any kind of connection to each other. We can handle that ourselves. Let me show you a simple example of how this works. I'm going to use Bricks and MailerPress alongside Flowmatic, but you can use lots of other tools. For example, Bitflow supports the same exact same set of tools that we're going to cover here. So you can do it with other tools as well. Just take a look at what integrations they support. And then as long as they support what you want, you're golden. So let's take a look. So what I've done inside Bricks is create a very simple form, the typical kind of thing you'd have to sign up for an email marketing newsletter, freebie, whatever name, email address, hit the subscribe button, job done. What we need to do now is we need to have this to connect up to, in our example, MailerPress. We're going to jump into Flowmatic, and the first thing we're going to do is come into the integration section, and we're going to go and take a look for Bricks. And there we go. Bricks Forms is supported. So I'm going to click to install this. Now we have that ability to connect installed. Let's check now for MailerPress. And as you can see, that's on you, and I've already installed it. So now we have the two pieces of the puzzle ready for us to connect them. So we just do jump into workflows, add a new workflow, give this a name. So now we're going to set up how we want to handle this. So the first thing is we're going to have to have that trigger. The trigger is going to be someone submits that form from Bricks. So let's change this over. Bricks forms is what we want. Choose our trigger event, new form submission, click on this, click on continue. No configuration required, so click continue one more time, and we need to test our trigger. So we're going to say capture response, jump into our form, type in our name, our email, and click subscribe now. So that form has now successfully been submitted. Now if we go back, you can see there's our response, expand this out, and you can see subscribe at WP Tuts, my name, any other information is now all available inside you. So that has captured the response. So let's just close out of this, click on continue, and we're going to say save and close. So there's our trigger. Our trigger is the thing that makes everything happen. So the next thing you want to do is tell it what to do. In this example, add a step, we're going to choose the option for mailer press. And inside there, we're going to say action event, create or update contact, click on continue, contact email, we're just going to map the details now. So we're going to click on the plus. There's our new form submission. So that's the data we captured. Click on it. Come down to we find the email address. There we go. Choose that option. Click the first name. In this example, we've only got the full name, so that'll do fine. And we're going to say subscription status. We can choose what we want from here. So we're going to say subscribed in this example. Add them to the list that we want. Let's say created inside MailerPress, default list. Add any tags that are relevant. So again, we're going to come into MailerPress tags. We're going to say this is a customer. And that's basically it. Click on continue, click on continue, and say test action. There we go. Everything has gone through correctly. It's passed that data over. Hit save and close. Save our workflow. Click to activate this to publish it. So now whenever anybody fills in that subscription form, they're automatically going to trigger this event. It's then going to add them or update them inside MailerPress. We've got them added into our mailing list. It is as simple as that. Now, if you're already using automations in any kind of email marketing platform, for example, MailerLite, MailChimp, and so on, you may be thinking of moving over to an alternative solution. But one of the key reasons why you may not want to do that is taking over your forms or your automations, your 
emails and all those kinds of things you've set up while you've been using it. That can be incredibly stressful and frustrating and a lot of work. However, today's video sponsor, OmniSend, are currently running an offer depending upon which plan you choose to be able to handle the migration of all those things for you automatically so you don't have to stress. You can find more details down below on that offer alongside a saving of 30% of the first three months if you use my link and details in the description down below. So you can check it out with no obligation and find out exactly what it offers you. If you want to move over, then you have those options to take over your automations and so on, depending upon the plan that you choose. Anyway, so this is kind of why I think everybody needs to have some form of automation tool in their toolbox to be able to handle the connection of the very different components to each other while you don't not have native support for those integrations in the tools you want to use, as we've demonstrated with Bricks alongside MailerPress. But as always, I do welcome your feedback. Are you using any automation tools yourself, whether WordPress, whether it's something that's hosted itself, or using a tool like OmniSend to handle things? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, all applicable links and details are down in that description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.